In this session, we are discussing register sets which are available inside the CPU. Registers are temporarily data storing region. In our digital electronics classes, we have learned that register is a sequential circuit. It consists of multiple flip flops. So, register can hold data temporarily. Depending upon the purpose and application, a register can be categorized under different heads. So, to discuss all these categories, uh, we have just we have done some board work here and we shall discuss accordingly. So, the first category they are depicting is known as general purpose registers. Inside the CPU, some registers can be accessed through programming, say through SM language programming or say through embedded SM language programming within the high level languages and those registers which are accessible by the programmers through mnemonics or symbolic instructions like mul, div, add will be known as general purpose registers. So, as an example we can say in some architecture they are a, b, c, d, in some architecture they may be a, x, b, x, c, x, d, x, in some architecture they may be a, e, a, x, B A X C E C X and E D X enhanced. So, in this way, these are known as the general purpose registers, which can be accessed by the programmer through mnemonics. Now, next one is the memory access register. So, as example, we can go for MAR and MDR. On a particular memory location, we can perform two operations: either read or write. Memory address register will hold the address of that location on which we are going to perform read or write. In case of read, after reading the data will be available in MDR memory data register or before writing the data will, will be made available to the MDR. So, memory address register and memory data register. We are having a separate video on that with other demonstration and illustration please watch that one. So, in case of instruction fetching registers, we are having PC and IR. PC is having the full form program counter. PC is that register which is pointing to that memory location from where the next instruction is to be fetched. And PC has got auto increment feature. Instruction register is that very register which is holding the copy of the current instruction in execution. So, for the instruction execution registers are PC and IR. Condition registers, we are having PSW program status word and in some architecture it is a combination of accumulator and flag registers. This flag register consists of multiple flag bits depending upon the current arithmetic and logical not any other instructions like branch or jump or data transfer. Depending upon the current currently executed arithmetic and logical instructions, depending upon the result thus produced the flag registers flag bits are getting affected. Let us suppose the result thus produced is 0, then the flag registers 0 flag bit will be set. The result has caused overflow then overflow flag bit in the flag bit register will be set. So, this is these bits are there in the flag register and accumulator and flag register in combined will be called as program status word. There is a condition registers because different jump instructions will be working on these flag bits residing in the flag register or PSW. Special purpose registers index register SIDI. So, these are known as the index register that means from a certain starting at this how far what is the index how far that is the offset that is the displacement how far I should move to get the actual effective address or the physical address. So, that is the index registers as an example we can go for destination index and source index I am telling the full form destination index and source index. So, these are the examples of index registers. When you shall go for advanced microprocessors you know, learning, then you will be uh, coming across through these registers. 
segment registers we are having code segment data segment stack segment extra segment in some architecture they will be called as enhanced code segment enhanced stack segment and so on so let us consider say data segment data segment colon di or data segment colon si will give you the effective address that means the segment registers will be holding the base address of the segment and index registers will be holding the offset or the displacement or the index from that part particular base address and combining them you will be getting the physical address or the effective address. We are having the stack pointer SP which will be pointing to the topmost address of the stack. In this way the registers which are residing in the CPU can be categorized in multiple different ways or heads as we have discussed here. So, general purpose registers can be accessed by the programmers through mnemonics. Memory access registers will be used for the memory read or write operations. The dedicated registers are MAR, memory address register and memory data register. For the instruction fetching registers we can use PC program counter having the auto increment mode and the instruction register which will be holding the current replica of the instruction in execution. We are having the condition registers PSW program status word which is a combination of accumulator and the flag registers. Flag register will be having multiple flag bits, special purpose registers, index registers, segment registers, index and segment registers combinedly will get the effective address and stack pointed which will be always pointing to the topmost address of a stack which is required for stack push and pop operations. So, in this way we have completed this particular session. Please watch our next, next videos on other topics. Thank you.